Welcome to this week's Minnesota Resort Sales Outdoors. Pretty neat show, I'm with Dan Houle out of our Ely office. Dan, this week we're gonna take a swing through Clemenson Resort, which you have for sale. Yes, and we're gonna go meet the owner in process of buying Wigwam Resort in Lake of Woods. That's right. Clemenson Resort, what we're gonna do is a quick walk around. You're gonna have a look at that at the cabins and it's located on the Rainy River. From there, we're gonna drive down to the Wigwam and we're gonna go out with Mark Ward, the new buyer, and we're gonna have some fun with Mark and he's getting ready to finish up the purchase of Wigwam Resort. You folks stay tuned. Minnesota Resort Sales Outdoors will be right back. We're here today with Gail from Clemenson Resort. Hi, Gail. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How many cabins do you have? We have five. Um, they're smaller cabins. And in 2012, we put new windows in many of them. We also did siding, insulation. It's been many updates that we, and we continue to update. Right, um, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. the, the big word is remodel, remodel. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a look inside at the cabins and uh, Gail and her husband, Art, have just done a wonderful job on remodeling these. How many years have you been here on the resort? It'll be nine this year. Nine years? Nine years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how many years of remodeling? Nine years. Nine <laughs> years of remodeling there. So <laughs> let's go take a look inside. You can see back here, there's the five cabins ready to go. It's beautiful in the summer and one of the things too that I really want to point out for you folks at home is that they are winterized. Mm -hmm. yes. Fully winterized and that is really key to this operation. Yes. The area here has fantastic winter fishing <laughs> and we're on the Rainy River, we're on the Lake of the Woods so if for you folks at home again this is a big winter operation. So let's take a look inside at some of this remodeling. Gail, I know that you folks have been here for that nine years. What do you think the new customer is going to look for in this resort? Um, I would say we keep everything very clean. That's very important to me. There you it's go. Clean cabins. Cleanliness and, and friendliness. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Always a big part. This is cabin number three. It's one of our newer cabins. Um, it's probably about 12 years old. It was completely rebuilt. Fits two people comfortably. Um, small bathroom and shower. Um, it has everything you need. Uh, we have dishes and pots and pans, uh, microwave, everything you would need to stay. You don't have to pack your own pots and pans or dishes or anything. That's it is a nice, yeah. <laughs> it is a nice cabin. Cozy. Yes. Yep. This is cabin two. It's one of our larger cabins. It has four bedrooms, the bathroom, and then as you see the kind of the conversing area with the kitchen. Um, again, they're all stocked with pots and pans and dishes and silverware and and they all have satellite TV now and yeah, this is usually where the bigger groups will stay all how, together. How many, uh, how many can this cabin hold, Gail? It can hold eight. Um, it has two double beds and it has two bunk beds. Here we are in cabin number five, huh, Gail? Yep. Yep. How many? How many can fit in five? Oh, uh, we usually do four to five. There's a double okay. bed, bunk bed. The futon also folds out. A lot of the guys like. The what size? What size groups do you get here at Clemenson? I'm sure it varies, but is there an average? Um, four. Four. Usually. Okay. Yeah, usually okay. It's four. So your cabins can accommodate, mm -hmm. uh, actually, all the way from two up to eight. Yep. Was the big one. Mm -hmm. okay. And this is a great place because it has five cabins, and there's a lot of people that have family reunions. Oh. And you can rent the whole place, and everybody can have their so own. So if you cabin. have a group of thirty, yeah, you can you handle. You have your own cabin. What is your total bed size here? I believe it's twenty. Five, so 25, 26. couple tents, you mm -hmm. have 30 people. Yep, absolutely. You can have good. your whole so family here and nobody else around to, to bother you. Okay, folks, one of the things I really want to point out is the wood boiler, the heat more wood boiler that's going to keep this resort going. Well, last year it was 30 below and it provided a lot of heat for the fishermen here. Another thing I want to point out is ice house operations. This is one of the revenue streams of this resort is the winterization of it and the owners art and gail gustafson have provided that for the new ones gail i know that i've been showing this resort a few times and one of the things that i like to show the people is this platform right here 
it's that beautiful. goes down. I know, mm -hmm. and it goes down to the river here. RVs can pull in here. Yep, tents. Tents. Mm -hmm. A lot of kids like to just play out here when we have sure. kids here. Yep. Sure, yep. wonderful, wonderful. And we have fireplace too. Fire pit. Yeah, you can sit over the bay here. And... It's a mom and pop resort Absolutely. on the Rainy River. Okay, Gail, so we've walked through the resort and we're down here at the at the, the highlight of the property. It's the Rainy River. Tell me a little bit about your fishing. Well, uh, this is a Clemenson Bay, and many fishermen stay here for the smallies right in the bay here. All summer long? All for... summer long. Okay. Yep, and in the spring, uh, sturgeon generate a lot into here. In fact, the DNR will do their counts, their fish counts, and net them, tag them that sort of thing in the spring in the spring what right? about walleye those big we've all heard rainy river and the big monster walleye <laughs> oh those those are always the spring and fall huge strong huge they were in a lot of fun and the best one of the best spots and you'll see sometimes up to 15 to 20 boats right outside of nice. where this bay and river connect okay and for the folks at home gail how can they get a hold of the clemenson resort on the rainy river here uh, you can either call us at 1-800-433-6085 or you can reach us on our website at www.clemensonresort.com. Clemensonresort.com. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for tuning in to Minnesota Resort Sales Outdoors. I'm Dan Hool, and you can contact us about this property at mnresortsales.com. Oh, there's one. All right. Well, Mark, it's been taking a while to find a fish out here in Lake of the Woods. Watch somebody grab the net over there, would you, Mark? Oh, there he goes. But finally, a walleye here in Lake of the Woods with Mark Ward at a wigwam resort. There we go. Not too big, but Thank goodness. It's a sauger, isn't it? Is that a little sauger? Mark, when we're out fishing tomorrow, we're gonna head out on what? On one of your charter yeah. boats? Yeah, Mike's gonna take us. Mike, that's one of your guides. Yeah, Mike Hamburg, he's an excellent guide. Okay. He's the one, I've been fishing with him a lot. He's the one that caught me that, or helped me catch that sturgeon this spring. That, that was a nice sturgeon, how big was it? 57 inches. 57 inch sturgeon. That was right here. Right, almost, well, a little farther in from where we are, but. Yeah. What region, what do they call this? They call this the gap. Huh? Right, right. But didn't it get washed out? You guys had a lot of high water? Well, it wasn't so much washed out. It's all the logs came down the river. Okay. It was actually so many logs that it was jammed in there that there was times when the charter boats thought they were in city traffic because they couldn't get in. They couldn't, yeah. Because there were so many logs, and they and those, those out uh, out drives, you know, or those inboards, I guess, you can't trim them up. They're they're there, so you don't want to be running over anything. How many charter boats do you have? We got four of them. Four, twenty six, all twenty six footers. Yeah, they're all sport crafts. Okay. They're all for uh, set up for six pack for one guide and six people. Six pack means six people. That's right. Okay. That's the charter license they have okay. and uh, that's what most of the boats are on Lake of the Woods. You don't see any big big things like you do on Mille Lacs where they right, put 50 right. people oh, you on mean a like the big launches. Right. Nobody's running big launches. I nope. see. I see. Nope. So with Wigwam Resort you when you purchase that you got the four boats and how many are the, what are the ice vehicles? What are they called? Oh, we got three bombardiers, bombardiers and then we have two yeah. of the big track vans. Okay. And uh, there's 30 ice fishing houses. A couple of them are overnighters. Those are new, aren't they? Yep. Yeah, Those that's, are new. What I, that's what I saw. Yeah. And, uh, and what about those little Geosport tracks? The one that the guy with the balls of steel drives? <laughs> that, that guy, yep, yep. Yeah. Well, when early ice, when they're 
checking it out to make sure it's safe for the bigger vehicles. They run those little things out. Snowmobiles, they're not much heavier than a snowmobile. Okay. But uh, the guys go out and, and sometimes they take people out fishing in them too. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. people are pretty anxious to get ice fishing when, as soon as they can. And that depends on the year, of course. Sometimes it happens in, in December. Right. Sometimes Thanksgiving, but. I think too, one of, the, one of the big things here on Lake of the Woods at Wigwam Resort, there is really two new seasons. Spring, early spring, and is it late fall, early fall, Mark, when the sturgeon are running? Yeah. And the big walleyes? Yeah, the people miss a lot of that because they don't think there's fishing in October, you know? Right. And there is. So, right. Uh, you know, the fish move move with the lake temperature. The temperature pushes them around. And mm -hmm. uh, it's not because they got nothing else to do. It's just that they like to be in the cooler water. And that's, this year has been a little different because the water has been so high, so it hasn't got warm as fast. So we've been having pretty good luck in places that we wouldn't be in this time of year. How far out do those charter boats go? Oh, 25, 30 miles sometimes. That's where the fish are. Yeah. Um, the main yeah. thing is to get people on the fish, and that's that's our guides are aware of that. They communicate with other other uh, guides out there. It's kind of a kind of a family affair, really, when it comes down to it. What's one tip in buying a resort that that you feel after you've been through the process, Mark? What do you think one of the one of the best tips you could tell uh, one of the viewers? You can't do too much homework. There you go. You can't do too much homework. You excellent. You have to. Uh, uh, I mean, I've learned so much in the last three, four months going through this thing with you and and some of my uh, my financial consultants and and the way you can make things happen and and what to look for and you know it, it just it takes some time. It's not you know it's similar to buying a house, but it's on a bigger scale and there's a lot more things involved and and. Uh, can't do enough homework. Can't huh? do enough homework. Well, we tried our luck out here today, huh, Mark? Yeah, we, we got a little late start, but uh, yeah. Yeah. And we didn't get out very far, and the fish are sometimes finicky here. They're not always here. We're seeing them on the graph, but uh, we, so, we would have probably went out farther, but we just wanted to, you guys were anxious to get some fishing in, so we come out here and try it a little bit. But tomorrow? And tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a planned fishing day. Okay. We'll do very well very tomorrow. Good. Well, folks, stay tuned for that because we're going to be right back after this. An average day. There you go. Well, if this is average, I'll take that all day long. This is a real nice fish, and that is play by play right there. Got Captain Mike. Ha What's your last name, Mike? Hamburg. Mike Hamburg. Mike works with Wigwam Resort. Very nice, very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Can't beat that. And they go. have to be under what? 19, 19 and a half. half. That's good. Oh, baby. Doesn't get any better. No, that'll be, that'll be some good eating tonight. That's what we'll be doing. Joining us today is Dallas Curley from Benetrends and his son Austin. Hi. They came out from Pennsylvania and they're looking to catch one of these wigwam walleyes out on Lake of the Woods. There we go, we got doubles on the charter. All right, very good, very good. Austin, Austin's been our silent fisherman all day. He just reels them in. Mark Ward has got himself a fish on. Is that a pretty nice one, Mark? probably a... We're going to find out in a minute here, aren't we? 27, 27 miles out from the gap. 22 and a half miles. 22 and a half, Mike? Yep. There we go. That's a ways out. Got a nice chop going today, too. Just premium. Oh, and these charter boats are 26 footers. 27. 27. There you go. Hold that one over there by Mr. Ward for us. And you got you got Austin in your arm yep. too. Oh, anyway, that is a dandy. That is a oh boy, isn't hey, that a dandy? I'll measure it. You'll just hold yeah. on to him there. Watch out for your eye. Yeah. Twenty-one. How much? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh man. 
There well, we this is what it's all about walleye fishing on Lake of the Woods. Unfortunately, this fish has got to go back in the water because it's in the slot between 19 and a half and 28 inches, and this is what produces all the all the future fishing for us. So I'm going to put this fish back in and let it go. Very nice. How many charter boats do you guys have at Wigwam? We got four charter boats just like this. Three soft tops, one hard top. Okay. We've got uh, very good guides and support. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you have a good trip. We got Mike over here. This is his first year at Wigwam, but he's doing an excellent job. Okay. We've got Kevin that's been out here several years. Tom, the previous owner of the resort, is guiding for me. And uh, the other boat, I'm working on getting my captain's license, so I can probably go out with that. Or we have other guys around that we can make sure that there's a little sharing goes on between resorts. But uh, you can take back your limit of walleyes of six fish. Two of them have to be saugers, four of them. Actually, you can take six saugers and four of them can be walleyes is the way that six fish limit is. And uh, we also have a uh, very good setup in the, in the wigwam bar and restaurant where we will cook your fish for you so you can have them basically a shore lunch in the bar or the restaurant when you get in at night. Corporate groups want to come up to Wigwam Resort. They contact uh, Liz. They contact Liz. Contact Liz. Call, Liz, call right the Wigwam Resort and contact Liz Henderson and she, we had a group of 18 people from Cummins up here a couple weeks ago and we actually yeah. took them out on Garden Island over here and we, we prepared shore lunch for them yes. while they were fishing and, and they came in and, and uh, for about an hour or so and had shore lunch on Garden Island and went back to fishing again. That was your Cummins group, and then yeah. you had the Loram group that came up? We had up. a bunch from Loram, the company I used to work for, and we had a bunch of them come up and fish for a day, actually a day and a half, and uh, they all caught their limits of fish and took home fish with them, and, and uh, you know, they're, they were curious. They came up actually for a retirement party for me is what they came for, but there you uh, go. they all had a good time. Several groups uh, are broads with rods promotion, where we get a group of women, uh, you know, six or 12 or whatever, and and yeah. uh, all of those have been a huge success. Uh, every one of them just enjoyed enjoyed it immensely, and they're they're all committed to coming back again. So uh, don't be afraid to get a bunch of girls and get away from your husbands, and uh, it's kind of a kind of an offset to deer hunting when they all leave you at home. So come on, give me the worm toss, anyways. Yeah, worm toss. There it goes. There, worm toss. That's I've kind of. Been dealt a hot hand here a little bit, now haven't I, gentlemen? Watch this, Noah. I kind of like that. Right up to the top, and then. All and right, Mike. Where do I want to put you? Here, Dallas. Oh, if you could squeeze over there just a little bit. That's a boxer. And he scoops it out in the water a like a big for shovel. The box. Yeah. Hey. Huh. Oh, perfect. Your black eye from the net handle. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Mike. No problem. Yeah. Another one for the box. Pull it over there. There you go. It's not a sauger. Man, it's not a sauger, but that is a nice okay. walleye. Somebody's got a fish, Dan. You got a fish on your line, buddy? Okay, another one on the back. Dallas, grab him. Our Benetrends man, grabbing it. There you go. Okay, well, it might be a sauger. Okay. Is that one of them sagers? All right, well that was a great double. Nice walleye here. Oh my gosh, look at that box of walleyes. Well, folks, I want to thank you for watching Minnesota Resort Sales Outdoors today. We've had a lot of fun looking at the Clemenson Resort over on the Rainy River, but better, we caught a lot of fish and had a lot of fun right here at Lake of the Woods. I want to thank Dallas Curley with Benetrends. I want to thank our captain, Mike Hamburg, who put us on a lot of good fish. But most of all, I'd like to thank Mark Ward, one of our new buyers at Wigwam Resort. And Mark, if people want to get a hold of you, how do they do it? Well, thanks, Dan. Uh, we're located up here in Baudette, and our, our uh, website is www.wigwamresort.com.
LOW.com, or you can reach us at 1-800-448-9260. There you go. Well, thank you very much. And folks, I want to thank you for watching Minnesota Resort Sales Outdoors. We'll see you next week.